Hello there, Libra. Welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. You are on a journey or you soon will be. We have the carriage here. So spirit is letting you know that there is some type of journey, either physical or mental. And what you need to pay attention to is that it you're inside this carriage. So it gives me the vibes, actually, of really being carried off or swept away, um, being in your own um, element or things that entertain you while you are on this journey. So there's something positive going on. Now, some of you, Libras, not all of you, you may be feeling like you're bumping up some against some obstacles. Don't worry. There's something about not allowing obstacles to impede your progress, especially because we are moving, okay? We're moving through some type of journey here that you're meant to enjoy. So let's see. Yeah, a goal-oriented person. I do feel that a lot of you Libras, if you're working towards a level of success or trying to see something through completion... I see that happening here, or at least attaining an important goal for yourself. Now, there also may be some type of indication here that you could be dealing with or soon be dealing with a person that is goal-oriented, someone who knows how to stay on track. But also, you're making the mark here. So you are absolutely on track in some area of your life. What else for Libra? Libra, you do need to control your anger. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I'm like kind of laughing about that because, you know, it is what it is, right? There are going to be people, situations, opposing energies. And also, you know, you have to remember that when you stand out or if you attain something or achieve something that is distinct, it could flare other people up, who knows, you know, people react to things in weird ways. However, we can all get too caught up in what other people are thinking, but you know, we just may, we just may need to maintain a sense of distance or just use your strength as wisdom. If you know something or someone's going to make you angry, if you know ahead of time, then it won't have so much of a power or effect on you. So I also see Libra that we have to be careful, you know, because there, there, there's something here where it says, or you will be sorry, okay? You will be playing a different role. So don't let something or someone stop you or make you feel, perhaps some of you might even have this situation where, Either someone may be making you feel guilty or you might be feeling guilty just for moving on, going on to better, uh, you know, positive things here. But you shouldn't and don't, right? Because guilt, regret, and shame is nothing but BS. <laughs> All right. Um, let's continue and see too because I, 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 wouldn't not, I would not be surprised if we see justice coming out actually, Libra, and, you know, that is associated with your own zodiac sign. So just maintain a sense of integrity and balance. It, it can be it can be challenging and something or someone may be challenging you too. I even sense a fire sign coming through, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and also I'm sensing um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see what else Spirit wants you to know when it comes to your situation, um, Libra. Not surprised, Libra. You are highly thought of, well-respected, or you're coming into a position where you've earned it. You could take a bow. I know it says bow, <laughs> but I see bow. Take a bow, right? Earning some type of reward or merit or maybe a bow. <laughs> I'm thinking of bow and arrow too. Look at that. We got that arrow and you're hitting that target. So I, I was trying to think, was it Sagittarius possibly? Sagittarius... I feel may have gotten this card too. So there may be a tie between you and a fire sign perhaps, <clears throat> or you may even have uh, fire placements in your chart. Anyhow, you are highly thought of. And 
there is a position that spirit does not want you to question. Either you're at that position and you're maintaining it, or you're headed towards a position or a level in life where it will be distinct. You will stand out for something, Libra, and you just need to be proud of that. Uh, what else for Libra? <clears throat> there could be something with hair here too or getting a new hairdo. Um, we do have broken bridge. Uns um, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Okay. We may be bumping up against something here. We may be trying too hard. Now, I would say if you already <clears throat> tried something and it, didn't, it did not work, we may need to take a different approach and you may need to just stay focused on the positives, not on the negatives here or what didn't work. Okay, and then I wanna see what this card is, but I, I wanna get a little bit more, let's see what was behind that. Doing something risky. That's interesting, and then we got taking a risk, take a chance. It's like recommit yourself or stay committed no matter what here. A bridge can be rebuilt. Materials will come. <laughs> It may not be the same materials that was used before, but it will work. Yeah, good, oh, great and good fortune. And we even have this thing about, you know, taking a chance because there's something about having a marriage. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. Or you might be fin finding yourself that you're marrying into a new environment, a new situation here, because look at this, you're, some of you, it's mental or physical here that you're on this journey. I almost get like a Cinderella kind of story going on in some way, shape or form, but let's just see what else plays out here. You've got, you've got good fortune. Now I know something's going on with that broken bridge. So let's get a little bit more too. I want more information about this unsuccessful outcome to your problem. What's important for Libra to know about this broken bridge? Had, I have some cards that fell down. Do you see that? Let's see. Uh, new creative ideas. Yeah, you, you know, I was just talking about something doing something different, taking a different approach probably, or being open to what's available. Because we do have new creative ideas, new adventures, a fresh start. You might feel that something did not go in, in your favor, but it may even be a blessing in disguise. We may not want to cross this bridge that we may be trying to cross, right? Because heaven has another plan. And again, you know, I, I was pointing out that you're inside of that carriage. Maybe you can see, maybe there is a little window, who knows, but I just feel that you're entertaining yourself, maybe enjoying a company of another or uh, some type of companionship, maybe a pet <laughs> or games, uh, talking, conversing, losing time, something that helps you lose you know, time, right? In, in a sense where you're not overly obsessed about that time. Okay, let's look at these cards that kind of, that did this little funny thing. I do love this though. We got that sunrise, look. And I kind of feel that this has got a storm. You look at the storm clouds here too. And the sun will always come out after the storm. But don't egg the storm on by giving it any, any extra unnecessary energy, right? Just control your anger. Problems to be resolved. Yeah, strong emotion, passion, love, or hate. Hate. Oh, that's kind of funny. I like said that double time there. So maybe there may be emphasis on that because we, we have this wishes granted. So we're like at this real fine line. <laughs> You may be feeling really tested. You may even be feeling like stretched here into two polar opposite energies, or you might be feeling the polar opposites. Just maintain where you're at right now. The problem to be resolved right now is, is tempering strong emotions, whether it is uh, passionate love or hate. Because, you know, too much of one thing is not good. It can be too extreme or put you into, you know, high sensitivity or hyper mode here. So take it easy, right? We may be really pissed off too because, you know, look at this ink. It fell, right? It spilt. And, uh, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to leave a mark. <laughs> so, yes, 
we have to, and so to, you know, maybe so to speak, we have to accept this, right? The, the stain here. Focus on what wishes have already come true for you in your life so far. Focus on what wishes want to be granted through you, through spirit, or make sure that you are believing that your wishes are granted here. I mean, you got the four-leaf clover and the wishbone. So, so something's happening here with you taking a chance with something or someone or I'm getting something about um, some of you Libras recommitting yourself, right? Maybe rewriting the rules or restructure, whatever you got to do, just recommit yourself and make it easy or ma make it uh, the way that you want. What else for Libra? A path of money is waiting for you to find it. <laughs> so don't worry about what, what we can't change, right? We got a stain. We got a stain there. Yes, it's there. We can make it work. We can make this work, though, <laughs> because we got money. We got money path. You know, I, I was getting this whole thing about you being on target or right on track to hitting some type of maybe major goal. Either way, it's a goal or achievement that you are on track for, money is waiting for you. You're attracting money. Now, I would say some of you might be too focused on maybe what went wrong, and it could be obsessive a little bit too. I know I do that at times myself, but you got to take control. <laughs> got to, you know, keep your head held high, Libra, no matter what respect and honor is coming to you. And yes, you do have it right now as well. Other, there are going to be people that don't like you or agree with you. That's just life, right? That's, that's just life in general. We know that this is part of life. What else? Another way is going to be shown to you too, Libra, if, you, if, if you've been praying and staying hopeful and open-minded about something, you know, that can really just give you that extra oomph, right? That extra uh, incentive to, to stay motivated, you will. Look at this, new home, new attitude. Some of you, you may have already, um, you know, got to a position where you might have a new home or you've changed something in your environment or some of you, you might be moving, relocating or whatever, or maybe remodeling, cleaning things up, changing things around for a new attitude. <laughs> Look at that, the broom. So we could be decluttering, we could be donating things, we could be having a garage sale or just whatever clean things up, whatever you need to do, but something is going to happen here, right? Some type of commitment. And to, to me, this house really signifies, you know, stability, security, something long-term here. All right, what else for Libra? A major challenge to overcome. Money will be coming to you. Lighthearted, carefree time. You know, I'm going to get more about this challenge um, to overcome. I, you know, we were talking about this with that carriage. The carriage is going to take you and carry you, okay? Don't let speed bumps stop you. There will be speed bumps. However, the, I feel like the major challenge to overcome is try, trying to get out of the energy of maybe being so disappointed, to be lighthearted, to be carefree, because that can be tricky, especially if we don't feel like things are going our way or, you know, maybe we've bump up against some things or some of you, you know, you, you may have lost some people on the way here or you may be losing some people because I do sense something where maybe they were supportive at one time or maybe you thought they would be and, may, and perhaps it just changed. However, Money is coming to you, so don't get too caught up. 
Hmm. Why do I sense five of pentacles coming through? Some of you, you may have had to, um, you know, really endure some leaner times in life, whether it was emotional, being lean on emotions, right? Or money, support. And so it could be hard because we have to undo or unwind that it's this process of recovery. Okay, so spirit, what's important for Libra to know about the mountain here? Major challenge to overcome. What's important for Libra to know about this mountain? Situations. <laughs> okay. Yes, situations in the balance that require careful handling. We, we were just talking about that. Try not to, you know, you're just trying to avoid emotional, mental, physical, or even financial extremes. Pay attention to that. Maybe you have been. Good. Keep doing it. Keep adjusting. Keep tweaking. Yes, there may be a financial thing that's hard, you know, right now. But the idea isn't to look at the problem because when we look at the problem, it just, it stays there. No, we do other things. We let the problem resolve itself. We just continue doing what we need to do that we know that we have control over. And also I wish is coming true for you, Libra. So you are doing something right. Okay. So there is something here where just don't get too caught up on something that didn't maybe go your way or we, you know, this broken bridge right? Someone broke your heart probably here. What else? You will receive a gift because <laughs> you're highly thought of. <laughs> what could be in this box? Only you're going to find out here. Let's see. You know, I had a feeling too. I had a feeling about this protected from negative forces beyond your control. You are meant to stay put. You were meant to, you know, whatever is stay put or, or whatever it was that we had to sit with <laughs> that we didn't have control. Look at the cobweb here. So it's like spirit was doing something to protect you that was beyond your control. So yes, it's frustrating, maybe even a little boring, <laughs> but it's for your own protection. And this is a gift in itself. I am really noticing something too, Libra. I couldn't help but notice like how you're in this carriage. Now, I just feel like you're in this box too, but not in a bad way. Like you're in that cobweb. It's like, you know, you're a precious gift, right? And so this is how spirit is treating you, a precious gift, carrying you here for the unveiling. <laughs> but there is a reward here for endurance. What else? Yeah, we have discord among friends and family. I feel like this is this whole thing about strong emotion with passion, love, or hate here. Also, you could be finding yourself being protected or somehow out of like the line of fire or maybe being in places that could be confrontational. You might be finding yourself, you know, Magically just having another appointment that day, having to miss something out. Whatever it is, it is a divine blessing here. I want um, advice about this mice. You know, I feel like the mice is also signify signifying not letting things, you know, eat at you. Let's get the mice. Put it on ice. great personal sorrow. There's just some things we can't change. I don't know. There's, you, you know, what's going on for you. Okay. This may have already happened maybe currently, or there may be some disappointment when it comes to friends and family, you know, give yourself the, that time to shed the tears. You know, the worst thing you can do is like hold it back or feel bad for feeling vulnerable or feeling bad for wanting to allow yourself to be sad about it or whatever you need to. Now, some, some of you, the, you know, you could be picking up or feeling others, friends or family that feel some type of sorrow here, but something has changed, right? Again, I mean, we can't get that ink 
out. I mean, it's there. Just Spirit is saying, give yourself or others room to grieve, mourn, or, you know, to take that time to reflect here. But also, you, all, you Libra, have to be in charge, too, of not giving um, too, many, too many Fs about other people, too much of giving a damn about others. Yes, sometimes it may come off as feel, you know, being insensitive to others, but it's not. What you're doing is you're taking care of your own energy because it's essential. You already know something has already changed. Karmically, something has changed. What else? You're stepping into a new experience because something karmically has changed. Now, give yourself some room to get used to things. It, 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 could, it really could take some time, Libra. It could even take a year, a two years, three years, four years. Who knows? It could take some time, depending on you. For me, I know it takes me a lot, a long time, maybe longer than others to get used to things. <laughs> but you are stepping into a new experience. And again, it's like the unveiling of you or like a surprise. It could even be a surprise journey where spirit is wanting to surprise you. You see your, your leg coming out of that box. <laughs> get your reach, you know, get your uh, gift here. Here's your party favor. <laughs> what else? Okay. I don't know what's going on with you. I know that there's been some rough bumps in the road, but we got good fortune. Libra, you know, look at that. I mean, you're getting it twice. It's almost like getting Wheel of Fortune twice here. You may have some crazy, like, um, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune, it really brings unpredictable <laughs> situations. But they are exciting because life would be so boring if it was so predictable, you know? Again, spirits kind of wanting to do some type of surprise here. And you're getting good fortune twice. Okay, what else? Oh, there's something else that wants to come out for you. Hang on. Hang on, Libra. Okay, so Libra, Spirit is actually, <laughs> okay, we're not even using this deck, but Spirit wants me to get a card for you out of here because there's something specific for you. <clears throat> for Libra. And this, this, this was like a strong pull. So let's see, let's see what Spirit wants you to know, Libra. 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 Oh, someone may come back here. Is there going to be any more? Okay, so Libra, we got something going on here. Yeah, we have this wor the, the word deception, and we got flirt, and then we got reconciliation and playfulness. So someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, or someone was being deceptive. And then we have extend your lighthearted energy to others. Someone may come back, Libra, that may have ha may have had a hard time um, being honest with you. Not for every single one of you, but you might find yourself getting to a place of reconciling what needs to be reconciled within yourself so that you are feeling free and liberated to, you know, get out there and enjoy yourself with others, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And yeah, we do have reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning to your life. And you might find yourself, I mean, I'm really getting six of cups, like, you know, just having a good time. Now, this could be some friends. This may, may be a lover, you know, for some of you. It could be just someone from the past that you know of or maybe you don't know so well of. But we are in a place where we are recapturing romance or a time period where you're just letting your youthful spirit to have fun. You know, that's the thing here that I'm seeing is letting that inner child that always lives inside of you to get out and play. See, that's what you're doing. Look at that. Your spirit knows. Spirit's like, yes, it is time for Libra 
to, to really experience a lighthearted, carefree time, just like a child would. Spirit, can I get one? Um, can I get one more for this deception for Libra? And what's important for Libra to know? And then I'll, I'll get more too about that reconciliation. Let's get more with that deception for Libra. And also, some of you Libras don't hold back. Yeah, see, you're reconciling something here within your own soul self. You know, it. It's not. A, it's not like you're. It's not like you're just saying it. It's really you feel it on a soul level. It's weaved into you and it's weaved into your um, reality. This is why you are karmically changing things for the better. But something and someone may tempt you. And I, I know we've, you have been hurt. There's no doubt about it that you've been, you've been betrayed, you've been hurt. But take it easy here because as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now, yes, some of you, there may be someone that wants to apologize or reconcile here. I do see favor in that. I mean, because we have flirt and we have playfulness. I would say, though, Libra, don't wait for someone, especially if those Libras, you are waiting for someone, because you're going to have fun no matter what. Why did it stop right there? Okay, addictions are affecting your, your romantic life, whether you're addicted to too much work addicted to people pleasing, maybe, you know, feeling codependent on something or someone because we just got used to it for so long. Overburden. Also not, you know, just take it if it resonates, you know, this new home, new attitude. I mean, maybe there's something here where, yeah, you're letting go of, you know, maybe things that were hard, you know, maybe we felt like we're hoarding on to it, but you're easing up into this. Now, I'm just going to put this out there. The other thing that I can see, too, <clears throat> is someone may have been really deceptive because they had their own addiction issues and maybe they couldn't be honest about that. Maybe there's a lot of shame wrapped around that. And so we do have to come to a place of having compassion under, un, and understanding that everybody lives a very private life, no matter what, you know, behind closed doors. Everyone lives their own private life. And whatever goes on between that person and their, and their higher self and spirit is what goes on. But you're breaking the pattern. You're breaking a cycle. You see, you see something where you don't like to feel restricted. You don't like to feel uh, tied to something here that's unhealthy. And this is why you will be playing a different role. What else? Yeah, Libra, there's going to be more of the romance angels coming out for for you. And we're not using this for any other um, zodiacs, so you deserve love. You are lovable. Uh, didn't I just say bow and arrow? Some of you, there may be, you know, an activity with that. Archery. Is that archery, you know? Oh, I want to try that, too. Um, all right. You deserve love. You are lovable. Now, also, I want to put this out there too. You know, being protected from negative. You know, being uh, protected from negative forces beyond your control. Well, thank God, because yeah, there are dis deceptive energies at play here. You deserve love. All right, what else for Libra? I'm getting more. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith, especially when it comes to your romantic life, your love life, or family life, things that matter to you. Lenny's here. Look at that, my little kitten. He not, he's not so... Libra, I don't know really what's just happened. I did get this card. I don't know if you saw this. My cat jumped on to. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Well, we're just gonna go with it. Trust. This situation is calling you to have faith. I don't know if I said that. My kitten had jumped up on the table, hit something here, so something went a little weird with the video. But we we got this. We got this. I'm just gonna have to move him <laughs> away from my computer. Oh, you little cutie. Lay right there for Libra. Just lay right there for Libra, Lenny. 
Lenny is almost six months old. Okay, let's see. What else for Libra? Oh, see, now he just got off. <laughs> You put me through. You put me through all of that, Lenny. Just get off. That's fine. What? Oh, this is ooh, pineapple reconciliation. So I am seeing something here where we are getting things, you know, resolved. This is coming out twice. Look at that. I want to see what was behind that. Oh, and this card just fell out. Ooh, you know what I see? Oh, yeah, I see you. Again, you're reconciling your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yes, and yet I do see apologies here. I do see something about an apology or maybe one major apology or somehow you have come to a place of great understanding and forgiveness and you're bringing peace. And you may even find some of you Libras have already done this or some of you, you might find it to be very humbling or sacred to have this, this thing where you have fully forgiven someone that maybe they didn't really deserve to be, you know, forgiven, but you're giving them that grace. I mean, wow. He doesn't know what he... <laughs> okay, time to go out and have fun. That's probably what Lenny's trying to do. He's trying to remind you to go have fun. Time to go out and have fun. Try other different things if you can. We have paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. See? You're going to be having fun here. Where did where'd that little... Oh, Lenny's laying on it. Playfulness. Okay. What else for Libra? Oh my gosh, he's gonna, he might drop that. <laughs> Slowly but surely getting ahead, Libra. So you don't have to go too fast. Remember, you're really um, being in a state of awareness with extremes, with a lot of things, as much as you can. Financial, physical, mental, emotional. And you don't have to go too fast here. Savor these moments. Savor, savor those moments that you know are reliable and assuring you some type of success. What else for Libra? We got the month of February, Libra. Some kind of change is happening here. So, you know, it is also the number two here. So we could be um, in a place of having to or be willing to um, you know, plan ahead. Plan for some financial gains, too. But we have some, like, wind of change here as well. Let's get a little bit more about February for Libra. It's almost like that wind is enough to keep that carriage going. You could also be dealing with someone that may be born in the month of February. Oh, beware of self-delusion. Okay, unsettled times need to... Oh, I was just talking about this. All right. So you do need to plan ahead here for just some unsettled times, right? Because I do feel that you've had to deal with that before. So we are putting our past experience into play here. Now... This may have already happened for some of you in February, or there may be an event here where Spirit is saying it's going to throw you, it, it may throw you off guard. You know, I was getting the Wheel of Fortune twice, and I already told you that there's some unexpected um, events with that or unpredictable things that can happen that's going to keep, you know, that you may feel unsettled about. Now, you do need to be aware of self delusion here. So let's get more about that dragon someone is working against you behind your back 
And then we got dealings or a relationship with a man here too. Some of you, you got to be careful with this deceptive energy here. You know, if it, don't, this is not going to resonate for all of you Libras because some of you Libras, you already are aware of this. Someone is like in a place of self-delusion themselves, right? A rat here. Um, I would say though, this is coming out strong and there was a specific reason, you know, that Spirit wanted to use this deck and the first card that came out was that deception card here, right? So there may be something here with don't ignore the red flags, if you see red flags, honor it. Know what you need to do here. I would say, too, be cautious of someone. Now, it could be a man here, you know, someone that could be working behind your back here. They could be born in the month of February for some of you guys. What else for Libra? Libra. Don't back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Ooh, so I'm getting this thing where, you know, this man energy to me is giving me this vibes where you're just harnessing a little bit more masculine energy, whether you're male or female. You know, I remember I was talking about something throwing you off guard. Don't let it throw you off guard. You already know that something may or someone will. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude, right? You're highly thought of and you will be playing a different role. So it's like you're, it's almost, it's almost like this energy of fighting for this position, but you're not, it's not really like this fighting, but it's like these other energies that want to attach themselves to you because they're no, they know that you got something good going on and they're trying to take a shortcut without doing the inner work. That's not possible. Because if they did the um, inner work, they'll, they'll meet up with you. They'll match up with you. So if it doesn't match up now, move away from something. But don't make... Uh, also, I would say be careful of judging another because, you know, when, when someone's coming off so deceptive here, it's, it, it, you know, they've gone through something in their life that has, that has created that. So we have to have a little compassion and understanding. Yeah, a lot of you are really pissed off for being lied to or, you know, someone doing something behind your back. Don't keep, I mean, remember, this may even be at play. This is like the devil energy here that wants to pull you back in here. <laughs> this karmic relationship or karmic energy here. What else? <clears throat> now, we have that thing about reconciliation, so... You know, I, I don't necessarily see this as this person, but perhaps if they've been away for a while and they've actually gone through a process of healing or whatever, yeah, maybe be open to hearing them out, but something's happening here anyways with a fresh new start. So you're going to know because it's going to feel right on every soul level. You're not going to have this like weird thing in your gut like, oh, is this right? Is this good? No, you'll know. You'll know. And it'll be very evident where it hasn't been right. Oh, well, you should... S oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Oh. You should accept valid crit criticism. Oh, my gosh. So, you know, maybe we do. <laughs> maybe we are hitting a level where, yes, there are others that have their opinions, Okay. You know, and so we just have to have a fine line of, you know, lending an ear, being willing to listen, you know, but also there's a fine line with this as well, because I do sense you being at the seven of wands where <clears throat> there are these things that you know to be right for you, right? But there may be something here where spirit just says, you know, be willing to just hear another out or, you know, be willing to take some type of, you know, valid criticism or construct, I should say, constructive uh, criticism, okay? Well, that, there, there's that. Maybe being too hard. What else for Libra? Too hard on yourself, insane chemistry, passion. Okay, there is something that's going to happen here. You're going to have something that's going, and, th and this will be a test for you too, because I feel a lot of you, you're going to feel this extreme, you know, passion, emotion, 
And so we just got to utilize experience and enjoy it, right? Enjoy it, but don't let it override a situation because this whole thing is equally having fun. I love that. Equally having fun. I was getting this whole thing about justice too. I don't, I don't see the justice came out, but we were talking about, um, you know, balance, you know, things that require, you know, balance or something that with the kangaroo. No, not the kangaroo. Where'd it go? Grasshopper. <clears throat> situations that, situations in the balance that require careful handling. You're getting what you want to Libra. Okay. But you, 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 you will have something that's going to be unsettling, right? Because we're breaking something uh, apart. So, you know, look at that broken bridge. We might still be obsessed or someone may be obsessed with you trying to get across that bridge. What else for Libra? Okay, Libra, you've got this tower. I like this tower. This 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 tower is not coming down because this is a different deck, but solid foundation, success with effort. No matter what, no matter where you're at, even if you feel like you have to start over, give yourself that chance to start over. Don't get too caught up in age or time or having to compare yourself. Just stay consistent. Stay on a path that works for you. What else? Nope, that's it. Okay, so before we end the reading, let's find out what's a near positive outcome for you, Libra. A near positive outcome for Libra. Oh, look at the fair woman. I get Lady of Justice here. I <laughs> I really feel it. Okay, yeah. Okay, a near positive outcome, actually. This is kind of interesting because it, it says someone will gossip about your secrets. Yeah, the secret's coming out. Look at that deception. Being fair-minded or having fairness in a situation. Yeah, there could be um, a woman here, okay, that could have blonde hair or um, white hair or gray hair. Who knows? But you might find out, you know, s something here where the truth comes out, something or someone is exposed where they need to be, and also having fairness. Because I see this fair woman, not just a fair skin, but fair-minded, lady of justice. One, one more. You're going to find something out. You know, this isn't like a great, like an awesome. I mean, you got a lot of other awesome things coming, but a near future outcome, it really is exposure here. <laughs> Truth coming out. Look at that, a two-faced friend. You know, uh, finding this out or having some type of resolution with this, forgiveness with this, because that's probably what it's going to take. And I see you just totally remaining objective, clear-minded and yes for some of you i, I see you cutting out a two-faced friend here for sure mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right i hope that this was helpful libra love and light